All right, we'll make this quick for you. This is just me and you. Um, not happy with our uh, performance today because, again, I thought uh, I was on the guys about the preparation. I thought we, uh, we we just thought we could show up to win. Did not like that. The only positive thing that came out of the day, I thought RJ was really good. He got his chance. Uh, what I love about our freshmen is that every chance they get an opportunity, they 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 have, they have come and they've rung the bell. So I'm going to say that. Um, I'm also going to say that um, Ray Embo will not be a member of our team anymore. He decided to go back to France okay. and be with his family. And uh, um, that's all I'm going to say on it. And so next man up. Yeah, uh, a little later than that, but okay. yeah, he just uh, he called me and said that um, you know he wanted to go back to his country and spend time with his family. So um, didn't take you long to get angry today. You uh, first couple of minutes, just the way yeah. the game came out, you yeah. made it very clear when you called that first time out. What, mm -hmm. what well, it was just that. I mean, I appreciate it yesterday. I appreciate it today. You know, sometimes you got to go. Through. I'll be honest with you. It's almost something you got to be careful what you wish for. Because I almost I wanted that to happen, to be honest with you, so I could send that message. Um, again, as you're trying to build your program, it's not about necessarily who we're playing. It's about how we play. And so uh, um, we had this long layoff. I don't like long layoffs. We were playing good basketball. And so, you know, you have to be a mature team to know how to handle that. And if you look around the country, as I said, you see the teams that aren't mature and they lose games like this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when he's, you know, he's, you know, every game he's getting comfortable. You know, he's not the best athlete in the world, so it's taking a little time for him to kind of get going. But he's a hard guard because he can hit the three. You know, he can score at all three levels. And so he, he you know, um, again, you know, when, when we're running our stuff and we wanted to go at him today, um, I thought he was really good today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of, you know, he's kind of got that old man game. He looks like he can go on the park and play with, with me and about uh, some, of those, uh, some of those older guys. You guys come on and have a seat. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, one of the things that, uh, uh, you know, when things happen, I don't care what happens in life, you know, every, it's an opportunity. I've said that to my, my own children. And so whenever you get an opportunity, you never know when your opportunity is going to come. And I've preached that from day one. And so uh, he took advantage of an opportunity and, and uh, I mean, a lot because defensively is what he's really good at, you know. But, uh, you know, he, he's actually – I don't think any of us were surprised because he practices that way. You know, we've played him out of position, uh, you know, because the scout team, we need a point guard. And he's kind of played the other point guard. But um, he's going to help us. I, I still don't feel 100% because I just got my wisdom too poor. Yeah. And, uh, and I ain't practiced the first uh, couple of practice when we got back, but it felt good to play. And, uh, you know, I did that against MTSU, had 16 and one half, so I wasn't, I wasn't really worried about that. I was just trying to just, you know, play basketball. Curtis, you got a little bit of an old man's game. You made a couple baseline shots from tough Yeah, I just I just learned my jump hook from the best here, right? Lorenzo Wright dad. And uh, you know, we always trained and worked on jump hooks and different type of angle shots. Uh and uh, you know, it just come from preparation, but it was it was a great team win though. Well, Sean, you're a big scorer in your own right. What did you what did you think of the way he was playing offensively? Oh, I love it. I love it. Just go to him. Couldn't nobody stop him, so just keep going to him. Yeah, we just got to come out ready to play, you know, uh, and communicate from the jump. We can't let teams get comfortable, you know. Uh, you know, coming from a big tournament, you know, it's kind of playing to the level of the competition at the beginning. You know, hats off to them. They're a great team, but, you know, we shouldn't let teams play with us. And I feel like that's – like when, you, when we looked at the scouting report, they took Nebraska to overtime because teams, you know, let people hang around and get confidence later in the game. First road, true road game. Mm -hmm. Next game up, another test. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I was looking forward to this game because I wanted to see how we would handle the week off and, and be able to uh, respond after having success. Um, and so now this is the first true road, road game for us. And so uh, I, I, this one I, I think we'll handle well because, again, you know, we love that underdog role. You know, it'll be just us in that environment. It's a great place to play. And so, uh, you know, when these guys are locked in and focused, uh, trying to keep them locked in and focused all the time is going to drive their coach crazy. 
Yeah, I knew he was gonna dunk it. Yeah, I knew he was gonna dunk it. It was wide open. Oh, uh, that was great. You know, I'm happy for RJ. He, uh, like Coach said, he plays aggressive in practice. <laughs> I don't know, on second team, he shoots, he shoots the ball a lot. So, to see him get in there and knock down shots because he can shoot and he can defend, you know, uh, that's one thing we know about RJ. He is not the average freshman. We know he's looking to, you know, be aggressive. Mm-hmm. You're not going to address it on him anymore, but just the fact you're down a point guard, now you've got other guy. What, what, what? Yeah, but you know me. We're down a point guard, but we're we got a better athlete and a better defender playing. So my so it, it becomes an advantage for us to be honest with you. And so, um, you know, it was hard for RJ to get on the floor. So in my you know the next guy stepped up, and so uh, I, the point guard situation. I got enough guys that can do that. I mean, he can play it. Christian can play it. Nick can play it if I need to. If I needed RJ, RJ plays it on the scout team. So what we needed was a big time athlete who can defend. And so adding him to the rotation is only going to make us better. And then of course we pick up Ty in about ten days, and so that's going to even make us stronger. Uh, we hope to get back a big fella here soon. And so when we get healthy and strong uh, and that's why I'm just trying to get us to play the right way every time because right now we don't we're not even we're not 100% yet wait till we get to the point where 100% thank you uh-huh